Okay, types of fires with suitable extinguishing media. You're dealing with a class A fire. Select the appropriate firing equipment. You can use a powder, you can use a fire hose, and you can use a blanket, and you can use foam. You're dealing with a class B fire. What equipment? You know, class B, we could use powder, foam, carbon dioxide, and a fire blanket. Class C fire, powder and carbon dioxide. And a class D fire is just powder. Now, what does a fire alarm system do? Fire alarms systems are Buildings often have a fire alarm system is designed to detect fire and sound an alarm. The system consists of other of things like smoke detectors, manual activation points, LED flashlights, and sirens. If an alarm is activated, you are warned by sound and visual alarms to evacuate the premises. False alarm. False alarms cause firefighters to respond for no reason. Therefore, activating a fire alarm when there's no fire is a criminal offense and often punishable by heavy fines. What does a fire alarm system do? This phone. Uh, this is a phone system. No, that's not it. Detect fire and sound the alarm. Yes. Find the components of the fire alarm system. Fire alarm activation point, or right here is the activation point. Smoke alarm. Siren. An LED flashlight. Click on the pictogram that can be found near a manual fire alarm activation point. There we go. Activate the fire alarm system. What should you do if the alarm is activated? Evacuate the building and assemble outside. Assess these statements regarding a false alarm. The person who caused a fire, the false alarm can be heavily fined. Yes. Panic and chaos may break out. Yeah, it can happen. Firefighters need to respond for no reason. Yep. Okay, so here's a fire safety plan. Basically, every workplace is required to have an evacuation, and your school does as well. During a fire, stay calm, don't panic, use a manual fire alarm activation point. In case of smoke, stay close to the floor. Close doors and windows, do not use the elevator. In case of fire, it's mandatory for all persons to leave the workplace or school and go to the assembly point. All right, so what does a fire safety and evacuation plan inform you about? What to do in event of a fire and evacuation? How can you improve fire safety? Store flammable products? No. Always carry some form? No. By learning the evacuation routes and locations of fire equipment? Yeah, sounds about right. What should you do during a fire? Stay calm, yes. Avoid elevators, yes. Open all doors, no. We should close the doors and windows. Always leave the workplace, yes. Activate the fire alarm, yes. Stay close to the floor if there's smoke, yes. Go to the assembly point, yes. All right, click on all the emergency exits for this building. It's all these little green ones with arrows coming out.
of the building. Click on the assembly point in this fire safety evacuation plan. Well, it's right here. You leave the building. This is the building. You leave it and you assemble out here. Look at the evacuation plan. A fire is broken out. What is the shortest, safest route to leave the building? So if you're here and there's the fire, you can go out this way. Okay, so here it's saying, look at the fire safety plan for our school or your workplace. But since we don't have that, we will look at that later when we do return to class. But for now, let's just go forward and we are finished. Hopefully this was helpful in working on your lesson.